So, um... Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, perfect. This is exactly the name I expected. Now I have a very spicy video for you guys today. This might even be one of the greatest collaborations of all time. And to make this video even better, I can tell you right now, things go horribly. Hey guys, it's me, Isaro Productions, Drew DiDranelli, and Alex the Rambler. And guess what? We're all playing Hard Spine 4! Aren't we guys? Yeah. I'm very excited yeah. to be doing this We're all, we're all excited. Review. We're playing in the Netherlands. Uh, that's Alex Arambler. I'm doing yep. Belgium. And, uh, well, the only other person available is Drew, and he's playing Luxembourg. It's perfect, because I'm the shittiest at this game. No, so. you're going to clutch it. Don't worry. Okay. Last minute, Drew's going to come in. He's just going to shoot Adolf Hitler in the face. So we'll be good. Everything will be good. We're going to all go into our little separate chats until we're needed, so we can do our own little commentary. And then, uh, we'll hopefully... Not die. Of course, I'm playing Luxembourg because, you know, I am the best Hearts of Iron 4 player out of the three of us. So, uh, we wanted to make it fair. Yep, things are going great. I mean, it's already been a month and, uh, I haven't researched anything. This is off to a great start. Damn, just those factories ooze pure dominance. I can't wait to see what I do to the world. So my only job here is to go fascist because, uh, well, I can't do anything else. Also, this fucking game just has me as player. So, uh, that's fantastic. The Rambler wants to form a mustache pack with me. That's kind of ironic because I know we both have hormone disorders. I'm kind of just trying to figure out what I should build here. We have so many options. I don't know which one to choose. Let's just go with anti-air. I don't know if we're gonna need that. I'm sorry if I'm fucking up, guys. The plan is to attack France first, and then I think go after the UK. Obviously, though, there's a huge chance this could go absolutely horribly. But I'm actually counting on it. I'm ready as Luxembourg to fucking save these, uh noob hearts of iron four players i'm just gonna rush straight in after paris and take all the glory from isp with my two divisions in terms of manpower i am equivalent to basically all of china right now so i think this video just got a whole lot harder luckily i wasn't planning to do anything during this entire campaign since we don't have any factions i'm just gonna kind of roam around and see what my buddies are doing i mean they don't need my help anyways right you know now that i think about it this is the first video i've ever done where i actually have to root for this guy Holy shit, what have we done? Hey, but the guy should be thanking me, because uh, when we get into a war, we're gonna have the best anti-air in the entire game. I just think I should be getting a little bit more respect around here as Luxembourg. We all know who's truly the greatest power out of these three countries. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Soros is helping. Oh shit, I didn't even realize how much I'm struggling right now. Why am I barely moving towards fascism? Is that bad, guys? This is actually perfect playing as Luxembourg, because uh, I can basically just do an AI-only battle while I watch these guys play. This is some bullshit. I actually really wanted to help out Franco, but I can't because uh, I suck. Suck at being a horrible player in this game because I, I'm i actually really good. Oh shit, I didn't realize I've already turned fascist. How did I manage to not even see that? Well, regardless, I'm now sexy Mussolini. I have also found out we have just a devastating air force. I'm gonna really unleash hell on whoever our enemy is. I'm thinking about starting a two front war. That should work. I think pretty well. You know, looking around at all of our default focus trees, we really should have played the Road to 56 mod. So, um, Hitler, I thought, I thought we were friends, man. Why do you have your troops right here? Oh, that's fun. This game is taking a pretty realistic turn. Regular YouTubers really don't like us Hearts of Iron 4 YouTubers. Well, about two and a half years later, I now have three research slots. So I guess uh, we're getting pretty powerful then. I've been asking ISP throughout this entire video so far if he would offer me military access. This is about the sixth time, so I'm sure he's enjoying this. All right, and this is the first time he has yet to respond to that, so that's that's good. Oh no, he's still doing it. That's that's real good. And here we. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. That. Okay. I wish I had one of these. So. Um. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. This is exactly the name I expected. Oh man, I think I've been playing Hearts of Iron 4 completely wrong all this time. I think I've finally figured it out. We are about to start the war with France, and uh, I have been told by my fellow um, Dad Dicks United members to assume the position as Luxembourg. Luckily, it seems like Hitler likes us, so uh, that's also pretty realistic of this game. France has chosen to become obese, I guess. Wow, what a horrible thing to do. Oh, that's kind of strange. No mods and Russia pops up out of nowhere? I'm sure they'll totally be successful in this war and not capitulate within the next couple months. And here we go. It's time to jump into it. I'm sure I'll be able to help out quite a bit with my 
seven factories. All right, good. We already have some troops back behind enemy lines. I've never done that before. Clearly, that's probably the reason why I'm terrible at this game. Hey, but we're defending the shit out of Luxembourg right now. Man, this is great. We basically have Spartans disguised as Luxembourgians. ISP is now popping up inside of France like a case of horrible hemorrhoids. Hopefully this man has no access to Preparation H. Wow, that literally took a month. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. Well, as the guys keep the allies out, I am totally ready to 1v1 Germany. Now there are some proper Luxembourg borders right there. I love it. I now have access to the most powerful condom in the world. We're trying to invade Britain, um, so I'm gonna send my boats to the channel and, and help them out with that. Yep, just gotta get all these boats to help out. Russia's looking a little sick right now, but regardless, the damage has been done to Papa. This is a really nice distraction for him while we uh, kill the allies. This has been a very strange game so far. Germany now attacking um, Yugoslavia with, of course, uh, whoever these people are. Oh, and also Poland joined the allies and Benito formed the Pact of Rome. Hungary, of course, wanted to be all a part of that. All this while Dad Dick United tries to invade the UK. There's definitely not enough dad dicks here, I think. Oh, I just found out Papa took out Estonia and Latvia. That's nice. He's back to his old ways again. Also, to no one's surprise, China is getting demolished and Mao's about to die. You know, I actually threw out the idea to invite Franco into our faction, but um, we need to hurry and try to get him in as soon as possible. You know, I kind of just noticed that we're basically like the dad dick, if you look at it from the right angle. Dad dick, and then the other guys are just united. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yep. That is gonna make things really interesting. So the Soviets are probably gonna take out Poland and obviously Finland. I don't think they'll be able to do much against the UK, but it might let their guard down. Oh shit, it's happening. Something is definitely happening. I actually have no idea what he's doing, but it looks good. I completely forgot Alex is here fighting in Indonesia. Wow, I'm dumb. He's handling shit though definitely has a grip on things. I'm actually doing something for once, trying to stop the uh, D-Day invasion here in 1940. Oh, also Italy declared war on Greece, so that's happening. Oh, all right, this is going to end horribly, isn't it? So this whole video is about to crash and burn. Our only chance is maybe if the Soviet Union attacks Hitler at some point, and holy shit, there it is. All right, there might be a miracle waiting to happen, but Joe's fighting a two-front war because Japan just joined the Axis. Somebody forgot to inform Hitler that uh, we've got a new name, a much more professional name, I think. Well, I'm fucking dead. I've got no chance. Literally a couple days later, I, I don't even know how this happened, actually. To no one's surprise, it looks like both me and Alex have become two bitches. This does weirdly protect ISP, though. So the game's over, and everybody has left. I am now by myself, all alone. So now I'm gonna go back to being just basically a reaction channel, and uh, we're gonna have the AI play out the rest of this video. I was telling the other two that we actually had a lot of lucky breaks in this campaign. I figured if there was any time to do it, it would have been this time, but we still failed. I'm used to failure in my life. And there we go. All right, so basically the AI has capitulated France and this has become just a regular old Hearts of Iron 4 game. I mean, it really has because, uh, yep, we still have the big blue blob here. They're democratic. Belgium lives don't matter anymore because, uh, yeah, you're also following a shit ideology. Franco's a damn traitor. He apparently doesn't have a, a giant dad dick like the rest of us, so he joined the Axis. And I think Hitler stands no chance because, uh, yeah, he's getting crushed from both sides already. Japan took all of China, and they're also fighting a two-front war, which definitely helps out Papa quite a bit. The only faction that's not doing anything is actually Rome. And uh, Benito's just at war still with Greece and Romania. Mussolini's having a tough time with that whole war thing again. Alex apparently lost 23 divisions because uh, he landed somewhere around here, I think. And then he wasn't able to get them back. Thanks, Alex. You basically lost us this entire campaign. Hashtag blame Alex. Don't blame me, though. I was definitely the most powerful country, and I did most of the work. So, you're welcome, guys. Now Germany's going after Romania, so uh, Italy has a friend, I guess, to help him out. And there we go. That did not take long at all. Italy has nice land over here now. Also, Bulgaria joined the Rome faction. Very intelligent decision there, guys. And I guess I should have expected this, but the Soviet Union is at war with just the entire old world. That's actually going to keep Hitler alive for a little bit longer, I think. You know, for not having any mods in this game, uh, this has been really weird. We've seen some pretty strange decisions by these leaders. Uh, I definitely enjoyed it. I loved watching this AI only battle basically as Luxembourg. Wow, well, surprisingly, it looks like this land is still going to remain fascist because, uh, Franco's actually doing something. Japan and China are having, uh, some success here out in the east. 
I mean, kinda. Oh, but the Allies are still pushing forward, which means, uh, I think Germany is gonna lose their capital. Yeah, never mind. I guess France and the UK totally have this shit under control. The Soviets, I think, will eventually start to snowball, but, uh, yeah, once the US joins, they're, they're done. Well, that was a very strange video. Let me know if you'd like to see more by hitting that like button and leaving a cancerous comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Johan, Elfie, Destiny Fucker 9000, Michael Ghazi, Jane Copeland, Wyone, Spatial Winter W, Kirby, and Furry Cruz for being my crack daddies. If you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much for helping, crack boy.